so we, we've been playing uh, a lot of clips from this from this hearing from the bad guys. And I don't mean to oversimplify it, but I mean it really is that simple. They're just they they're the bad guys. And when 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 this is what you're you're standing for, and this is what you're this is what you're enraged about is that we're going to be killing fewer babies. Then you're that's the bad guy side, and there's a very clear line that we can draw there. So we played some of the bad guy clips. There's one other clip I wanted to play for, you, and I'm saving it for here because Representative Burgess Owens, he's on the good side. He, uh, in the midst of all of this lunacy. He interjected with, I'm trying to stop myself from using the phrase truth bombs because I hate that phrase, but I'll allow it here just this one time. It's the only time you'll ever hear me say it because I think these really are. If anything qualifies as a truth bomb, then then this actually is. Listen to what he has to say. I think we're going to ever get to resolving the issues we have in in the black community. We got to be honest, my friends. Uh, We just heard that... uh, a pushback on the fact that we're getting black men in the black community not doing their job. Well, let me give you the facts real quick. First of all, when I was growing up in the 60s, we led the country and men committed to marriage over 70%. Black women could, could, could rely on getting married more than white, men until, white women until 1970. We now have between 70 to 80% of black fathers who desert their families. And we're not willing to be honest about that. We're not willing to, to say that these, these guys need to man up. Maybe when we start telling, you? maybe we start telling our, our kids that they're being nothing but whiners, weenies, and wimps if men cannot take care of their own kids, that might be a good start. I reject the words. Uh, well, of let this me gentleman. please, let Mr. Me, Chairman, I, I call I for order. Reject the words. I call of this for order. We, we right now, the facts are in. Mr. Big says the time. The facts are in. Facts. Black fathers. 70 to 80 percent are deserting their families. You talk to talk to these black single women out there and see what they think about this. We sit in this little bubble where we're living the life, we're married, many of us, and we cannot be honest about what's happening in our urban communities. While these kids are growing up with no fathers, Do no we have examples. Solutions? At the end of the day, there's a reason why our kids are being led toward these, these, these options of hopelessness. And for us to sit here in 20, 2021, no, no, not right now, I'm sorry, let me just finish. To sit here in 2021 and not point out the fact that we have fatherless homes, we have 70 to 80%, these are the facts, my friends, 70 to 80% will not marry the mothers of their children. And instead, we'll probably try to convince them so they to resolve them from their issues to go and get an abortion. We've lost 20 million black babies over the last 40 years. 40% of my race has been exterminated <coughs> because we don't have men. Yeah. I, want, I wanted to play as much of that clip as I could. It wasn't even the whole, the whole thing. It goes on for another few minutes. And uh, I, I, think it's, I think it's great. It, it, two things are great about it and very instructive and revealing. Uh, the one is what he's saying, but also you hear the woman, I'm not even sure which, which congresswoman that is, but frantically trying to cut in. It's, I object to this language that's being used. He, he actually says, well, we got to take responsibility, care for our families. I object to that language. This is offensive. I can't believe what's being said. Can I, can I, are you finished? Can I, can I? Ju-? They're, they're so terrified to have that conversation. They don't want to have this conversation at all about taking responsibility for yourself and your own families. They don't want to talk about the state of the family in the black community and across the country and how that ties into all of our problems, every single problem that we're having, societally speaking, every single one can be traced uh, in large part back to the collapse of the family. This, this is no great secret. And it, it shouldn't require any courage to point it out. And I shouldn't be so impressed that there's a, a, someone in Congress making this point because it's so obvious you, you can't have a society without the family. You know, we, we've, got, we've got thousands of years of history to look at with human civilization. And we can look out throughout the world and throughout history at every single civilization that's ever existed on the planet, every human civilization. And there's never been one that has tried to do it without the family structure at the foundation of it. 
It can't happen. You can't do it. Because that, that, is, that is the fundamental building block for, for everything else. Everything else rests upon the family. And if you abandon the family, there's, there's nothing else that can come in and sufficiently take its place. That's the experiment that we are conducting right now. Especially in the cities. Can we get rid of the family, say we don't need the family, and have the government come in and, and, uh, and take over that responsibility? You know, we don't, need, we don't need fathers to be the breadwinners and the providers and the protectors. The government could, we can do that. We can put them on the social programs. We put them on the welfare programs. Um, and we, you know, we have a bunch of cops there. And, and you know, so we, we fill all, we provider, protector, we fill all those roles as the government. So we have watched this experiment play out in the cities for decades. And to put it mildly, it has not worked. I mean, it's been a catastrophe. It has been an, an apocalyptic catastrophe. That's why when you walk through cities today, it looks like a literal apocalyptic wasteland you're walking through. And all, all that you're seeing there, that is the debris of the nuclear family, which has collapsed in the cities and also across the country increasingly. Fatherless homes are a problem uh, across the country, people are abandoning marriage, abandoning nuclear family. I mean, this is this is a, a social trend that you find everywhere. Um, now, the fact that this is happening and the consequences of it are inescapable, and the Democrats know that, and so they're they're only there's nothing they could say in response to it. So instead, they just try to ignore it, and they, they always deflect and say, oh, let's look over there. Look at look, let's, no, 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 no. We don't need to talk about, let's talk about guns. Let's, let's talk, if, there's, if there are you know, young men in the cities running around shooting each other for no reason, uh, let, let's talk about how they got the hand, their hands on those guns. That's the problem. Let, let's not discuss why those young men would want to behave that way in the first place. What went so horribly wrong? in their upbringing, in their home lives, that if they have guns, they're just going to go out and shoot each other for no reason. Nah, let's not talk about that part of it. No, no, no. Let's just discuss the guns. So that's what Democrats want to do. And if someone sits there, especially some Burgess Owens, Burgess Owens, a black man, uh, if, if he sits there and talks about this, they get very angry and they, they don't want to discuss it. And that tells you everything you need to know. In fact, at one point, I think she actually says, she says something like, well, what are your solutions? You're not, you're not coming up with any solutions. Yeah, he is. He gave the solution. That, that's, that's the solution was, take fathers, take care of your families. You know, when you have kids, get married, preferably before you have the kids. Um, but worst case, after, if that's what, if that's what you need to do. And uh, and then st and 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 stay with your kids and raise them. That's the solution. Have kids. A woman and man have kids. They stay in the same house, and they raise those kids. That's the solution. If you're saying, "Well, give us a solution besides that," let's not do that and think of a different solution. There isn't one. There is no other solution. There is no plan B because they've been looking for a plan B for decades and they haven't found one. So if we're giving up on the family, then, we're, then we just, we've given up on society. We've given up on civilization. There's no point in even talking about any of this stuff. For, just forget about it. There's no point. We've given up. Let it all collapse and we'll, we'll all live in the ruins, I guess. If you want a real solution, it has to begin there. Yeah, there are other things we can do. It's not like if we have a strong nuclear family in, in, a, in America that we're going to live in a utopia. There's still going to be other problems we have to fix, but we've got to start there. Have kids, stay at home with them. If we're ruling that out, if you're not going to do that, then, then there's no hope. Then we, we are hopeless at that point. So it's this or it's nothing. Listen, hit that subscribe button right now. Do it right now. I thank you for your compliance. It is somewhat appreciated.